have some uh, other news in another police shooting, and this one is from another case. The Georgia Supreme Court has cleared the way for the Anthony Hill shooting case to go to trial after ruling today against the defense motion to drop the case because of questions about how the grand jury was handled. Now, Anthony Hill is the Air Force vet who was shot and killed by DeKalb County Police Officer Robert Olson back in March of 2015. Hill was outside and naked when he was shot. Olson has been charged with murder, but claims self-defense. Now, the family has spoken out about Hill's mental health issues, and the case has really generated a lot of discussion about how police should respond to people who are suffering from mental illness. So all of this has raised concerns for how police react and respond to the mentally ill. The athens Clark police have received a huge grant to train their officers for those exact type of situations. And Ron Jones, who was an Oakland police officer before he became an anchor and reporter, uh, spoke with police there in Athens today about uh, this training. Now, Ron, when you became an officer, did you get any training uh, like you learned about today? You know, Vinny, during my law enforcement career in Oakland in the 80s and 90s, we didn't get a lot of training when it comes to dealing with people suffering from mental health, a mental health crisis. We got some, but not enough. But the athens Clark County Police Department, they're hoping to change that for their officers. They recently awarded a $300,000 Department of Justice grant to help them manage mental health crisis calls. So this is what the money pays for. This is how they're going to spend that money. The agency is going to use a mental health professional to actually respond to those crisis calls with the officers. The mental health professional will assess the individual's needs and then provide recommendations to the officers on the scene. Now, the grant also allows them to provide extensive mental health training for the sworn officers, criminal justice professionals, and other first responders just in case the mental health professional is not available on the scene. They see this as a, a crucial element to add to the officer's tool back, box in dealing with a mental health crisis. There's two parts of it that we're really excited about. The fact that we are able to get our officers trained in mental health and dealing with people who are in mental health crisis. But the thing that I think we're really the most excited about is the fact that we're going to be able to hire a person who is actually a certified clinician to come into the police department who's going to be working with the police department with the assistance of Advantage Behavioral Health. It will be a resource there when we go out to calls dealing with people who are in mental health crisis. Now, Vinny, we should point this out. The county officials, they did make it clear that a mental health crisis is not a free get-out-of-jail card. If a crime has occurred, whether it's a misdemeanor or a felony, there are consequences to that. By the way, this Department of Justice grant is just for a couple of years. All right, Ron. I mean, it's such an important part of policing. Thanks so much, Ron. Appreciate it. Absolutely.